Friends, allow me to wax eloquently, if you will, about 7-Up and Cracker Jacks. Hope somebody out there likes Cracker Jacks. If you fall asleep, I'll toss out the 7-Up. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to talk about success tonight for a few moments using 7-Up and Cracker Jacks. I want us all to have success, and really there's no better way to get that across than with a really good food analogy. Most of you are probably familiar with 7-Up, the beverage, but I'm sure far fewer, fewer of you are familiar with 7-Up, the film and documentary project by Paul Almond, a British filmmaker in 1964. See, Almond had this idea borrowed from a Jesuit motto. He said, give me a child when he is seven, and I will give you the man. And then he set out to prove it through film. He gathered 14 children in and around London together of various backgrounds and differences, socioeconomic, racial, behavioral. He brought them together to be filmed, interviewed. And then his assistant, Michael Apted, seven years later, tracked these same subjects down to be interviewed again. And Michael Apted continues to do this every seven years, make this strange pilgrimage. Only by now his subjects are in their 50s. The Up series, as it has come to be known, has uncovered a really stark reality. Basically, of all the subjects in their adulthood, all of them have conformed to the expectations and the stereotypes that were set upon them at age seven. All with a couple of exceptions. I think all of us probably know someone else who, are, who is like these exceptions, an exception to the rule, an exception to circumstances that otherwise would have been self-limiting. I myself know of one of these exceptions, a missionary I served with. He was the proverbial heads and tails above the rest of us, smart, good-looking. He made us feel downright inferior when compared with the accomplishments that he had achieved in a short 20 years. So I guess the, the general question to ask is, what's the difference? What is it that makes these exceptions so exceptional compared with the rest of us? I'll tell you the truth, I don't know, but I've got an idea. You see, Super Missionary had this study notebook that he kept with him often, and one day I saw it sitting on the kitchen table, and I saw and looked down at this notebook, and it had a phrase written in big block letters that gave me some insight. It said, I can do hard things. Friends, I'm here to tell you tonight that we all have things to do in life. Big things, small things, important things, and lots and lots of menial things. But the hard things are the differentiators. Successful people do things that the unsuccessful people aren't willing to do because they're hard. I'm here to tell you that since reading that, I have tried to do hard things when they're the right thing. And if I can do hard things, you can do hard things too. And you'll see a difference. You'll become an exception. And now I'd like to draw your attention back to these Cracker Jacks. It's been almost five years, probably more than five years, since I last bought Cracker Jacks, and I'll tell you why. Last time I bought a box of Cracker Jacks, it was very similar to this box of Cracker Jacks here. It even had the same label. It said prize inside. But you know what? There was no prize inside. I was hurt. I was angry. I wanted vengeance. I said, no more, Cracker Jacks! You see, there were Cracker Jacks inside, and they were just fine, but it didn't matter. Because in that instance, Cracker Jacks had lost all of their credibility with me. Friends, people are like Cracker Jacks. I know often we talk about being mislabeled, but we come with good labels too. BYU student, return missionary, hopefully these things mean something. And if we are not true to what our good labels are telling people, then we are no better than these Cracker Jacks. We have inevitably lost our self-worth. Please don't do that. My friends, tonight I want you to remember 7-Up and Cracker Jacks, not just for how they taste, but for what they represent. Be successful by being exceptional. Be willing to do hard things. Rise above your circumstances while staying true to your core values. Wear your good labels proudly. And above all, have the prize that people are hoping to find inside of you. Thank you.